Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and this time I have come here with a quick tip. I will tell you about how to use parameter wiring in 3ds Max which can save you a lot of time and uh, make your life easy. You must have seen the preview and the final result. So what is special in that? When I drag the handle of the cart, the wheels rotate automatically and you don't have to really pay attention on wheels rotation. All it goes automatically and smoothly. I have prepared a small scene uh, already. This is a very very basic scene. This is a cart with the two wheels, the body and the handle. All these are the separate models like uh, the box, wheels and handle. I want something like this. Um, if I drag the handle, all these parts should go along with the handle connected. So for that, we can make some links like uh, this axis. Let it be linked uh, with the box. And just like this, link these two wheels too. Now what happens, if I drag this box, the wheels and the axis will follow it. Now link the box with the handle. And now what happens, drag the handle alone and all other parts will follow it connected. But wheels are not rotating. Ideally they should uh, rotate uh, like this. But it's not rotating right now. Now this is the agenda of this tutorial. How to make the wheels rotate automatically if the handle is dragged. First of all, let's rename the parts like um, make this as wheel 1. Just like this, rename the other wheel as uh, wheel 2 and uh, rename it as uh, handle. Now pick this wheel 1, right click on it and here we have wire parameter. Click on it. It shows a transform and it has position, rotation, scale. So first of all let's determine the correct axis of the rotation of the wheel. The wheel should uh, rotate in this axis and uh, this is the Y axis. You can clearly see here the value of Y axis is changing only. So we have to rotate the wheel in Y axis. And here for the handle X axis because the handle will be dragged in X axis. So now select the wheel 1, right click on it, wire parameter, transform, rotation and choose Y rotation. And then drag and click it on the handle. Transform, position and X axis. A parameter wiring window appears. It has handle and wheel 1. Y rotation of wheel 1 and X position of handle. We want the handle to control the rotation of wheel 1. It means, it means this way. Click on uh, this arrow. It means X position of the handle will control the Y rotation of the wheel 1. And now just connect it. Once it is connected, pick the handle and drag it forward. You will see that the wheel is rotating automatically. You will see that the wheel is rotating automatically. But it is uh, rotating very very fast. We can control it too. Here you see X position. If you drag the handle in the X axis, the wheel rotates too fast. So here if we divide the value of X position with a value like uh, 50 and then if we update it and now if uh, the handle is dragged 
you can see oh the wheel is rotating slowly and smoothly now and smoothly now now let's do the same thing with the other wheel wheel 2 right click on it wire parameter transform rotation y rotation and here on the handle transform position x position again the parameter wiring uh, window appears x position of the handle will control the y rotation of the wheel too uh, this way click on connect now if you drag the handle wheel 2 will rotate very fast so just like before we can divide the value of x position with 50 update and now everything is fine move the handle and the wheels will rotate automatically forward or backward you don't have to take any tension of the wheels so I hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial and the tip this could be a great start for those who want to go deep in this expression thing. I will come with some other quick tips in future. This is Chandan Kumar from India. Have a nice day.